Imagine living in a world without any sound. I've been deaf since I was three years old, which is when it was first diagnosed, and the doctors can't tell whether I was born this way or if it was through something like an ear infection, and it's been this way for some time. To be honest, Holly was a complete nightmare. I wouldn't say that she's any better now, but she was the worst child as far as I was concerned on the planet. She used to run away, she wouldn't come back, I think it's obviously because she couldn't hear me. Um, and she just cried all the time, she was very disagreeable, she wouldn't sleep, she was just so, so naughty, it was unbelievable. I used to get very, very stressed and she used to have me in tears sometimes. My parents sent me to public school instead of a school for the deaf um, and I did actually really help with my speech. Well, when we found out Holly had um, to have hearing aids, obviously we were devastated, but we took her to see an audiologist where he confirmed that she was uh, practically had no hearing to the left side and they automatically gave her a, a hearing aid and she literally, her eyes just lit up and her whole expression changed and it just opened a complete new world. I taught myself to speak through lip reading um, and when someone is facing the other way it's incredibly difficult for me to understand what they're saying and in an average day there are so many more things I have to pay more attention to and focus on and work harder or work harder for. Um, for example listening to the TV I have to have that at a full volume so I can hear it. Um, train platforms and announcements I can't hear those, and listening out for cars is really difficult as well. Um, in, in a way, go, just going outside is incredibly life risking for me. Hi, my name is Joshua Shah. Robert Brown. Jessica Washford. My name is Jamal D. Bigger Stiff. Do you hear a I can hear environment, but not full? Do you use subtitles? Listen to TV, just turn it off. I have some problems communicating with hearing people. You mobile tech communication, no problem. Find out the whole family. Growing up, I had a difficult point in my life where we were moving on from primary school to secondary school. And it was from here that people started to notice that I was different. And those people were my friends, who I, what I thought were my friends. And gradually, one by one, they all just left me on my own during a break. And it, we went to primary school and we moved to secondary school and they acted like they didn't know me and I was just left on my own. And that was my first real taste of bullying. And I was only 11. And no one should be left on their own, no matter what the age. Um, and it was... And the bullying was just constant from there on. And it not only did it wreck my confidence, but it wrecked my self-image. Um, and I would shy away from everything and everyone and hide my hearing aids. I just wasn't myself. And it's still going on and it's ridiculous. And But looking back, I realised that the reason why people moved away from me is because I didn't understand it. It was so unusual to see a young person wearing wearing hearing aids and I remember I remember once one of the taunts was um they called me grandma and they told me to go hang out with my friends at the old people's home. And looking back those taunts were quite pathetic. And I don't understand why I got so upset about them. <laughs> Bully la ha 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 ga mm la the that's dumb. Well I didn't get bullied but not many people liked me there so I was bullied quite a bit growing up um due to my deafness um along with a younger brother as well so we had quite a bit. In 
primary school, yeah. Well, I, didn't, I got bullied a bit, but then in secondary school I got bullied as well. As well. And then it, but it improved in secondary school, yeah. So it was easier when I got to secondary school. I think Holly, as today and did at the time, dealt with it far better than I ever did. Um, because she she would say, don't worry about it, Mum, um, I'm fine. It, it's the mums and the parents and the children that have got the problem, and not me, but as a parent, it's very, very heartbreaking to, to watch. Um, but she, she coped with it very well in, in her own way, and she still does today. Well, don't turn up, you know, but... I'm so happy because I Because I rely a lot on lip reading and work my ears that much harder, um, everything is a big challenge for me. And as I said before, if someone's not facing me, it's incredibly difficult for me to hear. And I started drama on the weekends, and that's a big challenge. I didn't think it would be. Hi, I'm Verity. I'm principal at the Pauline Quirk Academy in Rochester and Tunbridge. At first, all I thought I'd have to do is remember my lines and the last bit of someone else's line. So my name's Steve Clough and I teach the musical theatre lessons here at PQA in Tunbridge. I haven't had any experience working with um, people with special needs or disabilities, but I do feel it's about you know, learning that person's needs and really helping them to achieve the best that they can achieve within the lesson. With me, I can feel the vibration of the floor from the power of the speakers, um, and that can instantly distract me and everything can go downhill and I could ruin the musical and that wouldn't be a good thing to do. <laughs> um, Holly does amazing at adapting uh, at PQA. I mean, Holly's awful. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. No. She, in musical theatre, she'll wait for the vibration uh, that she recognises uh, to know when to go. Holly is great. She's an absolute role model as a student. She works hard, she's dedicated, she's committed to her craft and she... My main focus in teaching is just for people to try and Holly tries and gives 100% so I can't ask more from her and she's improved so much throughout the time that I've been here. You know, she's a really A model student. I'm strutting my stuff and you're all like, what can I do? Do you want to see me stick? No, I was looking at the men over here. Here we go, five, six, seven, and. Performing on stage is so much harder as well because like I said, the speakers are so overwhelming compared to what I rehearsed with and they're so loud that you can't even feel a beat. Um, and singing is definitely a more nerve-wracking thing for me to do. Um, I've always sung really quietly in my room, frightened that my singing voice is terrible, and I never thought that one day I could be singing in front of at least 300 people, let alone act, and no one even guessed I was deaf. Um, a lot of people didn't believe I was deaf, so that's a big compliment. Um, and one thing I'll never forget is my teacher's face when he heard me sing, it just lit up. As far as lessons go, um, I haven't had to change anything. Holly's, you know, worked really well around her needs, but um, she had a little bit of a problem during our last production of Great Expectations where she couldn't really hear the music because obviously the music's playing out towards the audience and they're not hearing anything back. So to help with that, what we had was we had another actor um, when they came to shake her hands, he would count her in by shaking her hand so she would know it was one, two, three, four, start to sing. And it's just little tricks like that that the audience wouldn't know, but it would also help her and build her confidence into coming in, you know, strong and loud. It was too late to re-choreograph the dance and make it more easier for me to remember the singing. Um, but luckily, just within an hour before the show started, the lead role came up with an idea saying that in the scene I have to shake his hand so what he would do is he would shake his hand in time with the beat. So I do know uh, one deaf dancer who's actually part of a contemporary uh, dance group for people who are deaf or have got disabled or special needs and they 
are a great team, they work together, they're a beautiful company and they create some amazing work. The only deaf actor I know of is Jacob Castleden and he's a sign language user but he did a play recently um, where he's brought up in the uh, oral tradition in a hearing family like myself um, and he's always been shut away from the deaf community but he meets a girl who he slowly falls in love with but she's losing her hearing um, but she comes from a deaf family so she knows sign language um, and his family really don't want him to date this girl. What did he say? Sorry, it's... Sylvia understands the way I feel because she's told me how she feels and it's how I feel. A second class citizen. Because they want him to be more of a hearing person and see him as a hearing person. Um, and there's a lot of controversy within it. Um, and I've always been that way. I've been shut away a little bit from the deaf community because I went to public school. So I've never really met a sign language user. Um, but now that I've gone to college, I've met more deaf people. And I think sign language is amazing. And it's definitely something I want to try my hand at. It's definitely a really great skill to have. When I got depressed at school, you said you'd learn sign if I wanted. But you didn't. Other than him, there's no other deaf actors I've really heard of. Excuse the expression. Well, he's speaking in the wrong language. I'm scared that one day my hearing is just going to go completely. Um, and when I think about it, it breaks my heart because everyone else will probably be able to hear their grandchildren talking and call them grandma and or listen to someone next to them, you know, just breathing lightly and I won't be able to hear that when I'm older. Um, and I don't want that, I just, um, but when I take my hearing aids out now, it sounds like I'm underwater and I can barely hear anything, and my biggest fear is that I won't be able to hear, hear anything when I'm older, and, but right now I can't focus on that, I have to, focus on enjoying the things I can hear now and I only hope that when I'm older they have something to fix that because I don't want to stop hearing anything <laughs> sorry no matter what life throws at you you can achieve what you want to achieve 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 achieve